So today we're doing the Detroit Tigers offseason rebuild. They just added two players formerly of the Twins in Jonathan Scope and CJ Crone. Both of them can offer some power to the lineup. And I feel like two players that are in their primes can help out this team, especially when they're in a rebuild and they kind of need players that are, you know, helpful. You know, they had seven second basemen last year, the Tigers did. And they also had, I think, three or four different first basemen. So to be able to have someone like Crone who can man that first base spot or that DH spot, and also a guy like Scope who can play second base, he can play third base. I feel like these are two pretty good pickups. So let's see what we can do with this Detroit Tigers team in an offseason rebuild. If you still enjoy these videos, thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the team if you're new and enjoy the content. And as always, in the comment section, let me know future videos you would like to see. On screen now is going to be the most recent video. It's going to be up here in the corner. Go and give it a watch if you haven't. And all social media links are going to be down in the description below. Go and give them a follow if you haven't already. Let's hop into this rebuild because this team's really bad all right so heading into the offseason as expected we're not doing too well i mean we're, we're a bad team we're probably the worst in baseball so let's figure out what we can do with this roster because you you kind of look at it and it's it's meh <laughs> it's pretty bad it, it, it's pretty bad it's really bad so uh we definitely need to figure out something to do with this team like miguel cabrera's contract's gross he's going to be sitting around the same rating um but yeah it's just yikes we we really need to figure something out here so let's hop into the off season let's see what we can do definitely probably gonna have to find some uh new some new coaches or staff whatever they call them and then looking at these guys don't want any of them to come back not at all and let's see what we can do here. First off, I want to take a look at the budget because I really want to find a way to get rid of Jordan Zimmerman. The thing is, I don't want to get rid of a prospect with him. So I'm going to have to see if we can even just trade him for anything. If anything, we're just going to... And if, if we can't find a trade, so like if we can just trade him for like like the worst player possible, at least that gets that salary off the book. Um, the thing is, if we can't find one, then we're just going to wait until the, the contract runs out. And then season two and season three is when we're really going to have to make some moves to make this team better. Looking at contracts, there's no reason not to give everybody a contract. And then for arbitration, I don't really like Daniel Norris. I don't think he's that good. Um, so same with Jacoby Jones. How was Lewis Coleman? He was okay. I might bring back Lewis Coleman, but I think the rest we're going to let go just because everybody else is pretty bad. So... Maybe Boyd, Fulmer, Norris just to trade him and then Coleman and then the rest can go. And then when we look at free agency, I, ooh, wow, this is really bad. Yeah, this is really bad. Wow. Um, What are we going to do here? This is this is really bad free agency. Jeez. What about Josh Donaldson? He might actually be someone I'd be cool with like bringing in because this is a really, really bad free agency like group. Just everything is really bad. How is Brandon Morrow? We could use some bullpen help too. So if we could bring in one or two bullpen arms, maybe just like a, an, it's looking like we're gonna have to make some trades. I think that's what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to make some trades for sure. So I'll see you guys at the start of the season. All right, so the first trade we're gonna make to start season one is going to be for Roberto Osuna, our closer going forward for Daniel Norris, Nico Goodrum, and David McKay. I think that's a pretty good deal for us. All right, so we're only gonna make that one trade. I thought about trying to trade Jordan Zimmerman, but I don't even know if we we can. Um, let's just see what we can get for him without taking on like a crazy big contract. I don't even know if we're gonna get any. Chris Davis, no. That's the only that's the only trade I that's the only trade I've been offered. Um, what if we pair him up with one of our like B or like yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll pack, package him with like a B potential player. See if we can get anything. Because he's really the only contract that I'm looking to move. And I mean, looking at these offers, it's not really great. I mean, really the only one I would consider is Kyle Seeger. What's, what's Eovaldi is looking like? He's still got two years left on his deal. And I think Kyle Seeger still has... I think one more year after this year. Yeah, he's got one more year after this year. So you know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna ride it out. We're gonna see what we can. We're just gonna let it, you know, come off the books. So this is our team. I'm I made a couple like small acquisitions, thinking maybe that'll help us out. Desclafani being one of them. I think I did a three-year 
deal and then the the last year is going to be his uh club option so if he does bad we could just let him walk jarell cotton i did a two-year deal i think this next season is the club option we brought in quackenbush from free agency same with gregerson or quackenbush from rule five gregerson from free agency david phelps from free agency you guys saw free agency was pretty bad so we kind of just went with what we could have gotten danny santana was like a, a decent like utility type player that was available Melky cabrera for one year as our left fielder um jonathan scope obviously cj crone obviously freddie galvis is going to be our shortstop and then wilmer flores is going to be our third baseman um in the farm system we have the well lugo who i think actually could be our third baseman for next year um maybe even jimer candelario one of those two guys is going to be fighting it out for that spot and then you look at our other options i'm just not too excited about them so this is this is the team it looks a lot better than what we started with i don't think we're ranked last we're 23rd so that's not terrible so this is gonna be the first season do i expect to make the playoffs no but we'll see what we could do especially with season two because our budget's looking pretty bad right now because we had to sign a lot of like one two year deals so once we get zimmerman off the books and uh figure out a couple other things like do we bring back Wilmer Flores? I think I made him an option as well. Galvis was an option. So I did a lot of two year with club options. So if things don't go well, we can just cut them, let them walk. And then we can just kind of build from there. So we're either going to have a lot of money next season or we're going to keep some of these players and build on what we already have. So let's see what we can do. And I'll see you guys at the end of the season. I wasn't even paying attention. We're in September. And like I looked over and I saw we were in September 85 and 77. I will take that. That is actually a pretty good improvement we finished third 10 games out how many in the wild card we actually missed out on the wild card by a game that's pretty good no league leaders or awards but i'm okay with that i want to see where we're where we are like player progression wise and things like that so fulmer pretty solid season matthew boyd pretty solid season desclafani i will take that that's actually not too bad i might keep him around make him more four or five agrizal is improving you look at his stats they're not terrible his potential is at a though so he might be a player we keep around same with jarell cotton to be honest i'm okay keeping this starting five for at least one more year seeing what we can do and then let's take a look at the bullpen um david phelps will probably let walk but everybody else really happy with let's take a look at our farm or like our our um yeah our farm system casey mize we gotta get involved somehow um man how are we gonna do that do we i think because like looking at his stats i think we need mm, you know i don't know maybe i don't know we're, get, we're, we're gonna have to figure out a way to get him in the team though so let's take a look at our bench um it's okay nothing too crazy anybody here that like looks really good maybe duel will go comes up next season and then when you look at our squad as a whole um miguel cabrera is still holding that 81 rating so i'm not gonna freak out about that jonathan scope was okay Nothing too crazy. CJ Crone, we need to keep 100%. Um, I'm not too sure about scope, but because this is kind of built on an offseason rebuild around these two players signing with the Tigers, I guess we got to keep them. Um, Wilmer Flores. Do we just go with Lugo? Just give him a shot since Wilmer Flores, like his stats look like he would be really, really good. And 20 home runs isn't bad, but I feel like we could do a little bit better. So let's... I don't know. I don't know. Let's sim to the offseason because I'm still kind of hesitant on everything. You guys saw the stats and it looks really good. Like the team performed really well. We were one game out in the wild card. So like things actually went pretty well. So let's let's see what we can do here. So exclusive negotiations. We have to bring these two guys back. Let's go. Let's do that. We'll give them a player option. You should accept that. And then we'll do we'll do that with the player option. You should accept that too. All right. Melky Cabrera because like we have Christian Stewart but like or Kristen Stewart but he's not good and I feel like we could trade him and like Melky Cabrera is going to go down in rating very very quickly at the age of 36 so I'm going to let that go Freddie Galvis I did a lot of options as you can see um yeah Zimmerman's gone Lewis Coleman how did you do this year pretty good you know what let's do another one year let's see if you take that Austin Romine as a backup catcher you know what you, it's not gonna cost oh it is gonna cost quite a bit i'm gonna see if i can find a different backup catcher luke gregerson wasn't terrible um let's do let's do one more year let's see what happens there melky cabrera though david phelps mm, 
I'm going to decline this option. I want to see if there's someone else that's better available. Freddie Galvis. Let's... That's a lot. Five and a half. Let's decline that. So we need a shortstop for sure. And then Wilmer Flores. I'm going to decline that as well. Because I feel like we can just use the money somewhere else. And we're going to rock like that for exclusive negotiations. So we should have a lot of money to work with now. Three and a half million is, is a lot. Um, we're going to offer everybody arbitration here. Quackenbush. Yeah, I feel like he's to still be a, a decent arm for us. We're going to offer everybody um, contracts there. And then let's see what we can do here. Because we got these guys back. Mookie Bats. You know what? That might be the move. And like move Demerit to left. That, that might be what we do. Because like we don't have a any more big contracts so you know like that's not terrible dd gregorius mm, not really feeling that one so it's looking like we're gonna have to trade for a shortstop and a good thing we have some like prospects to make that happen second base we have scope i'm feeling good about that third base we're gonna go with lugo but we do kind of need like that backup infielder now and then here let's let's start to build on this so we definitely need to figure out maybe one no no starters i felt like i was pretty happy with that so bullpen for sure and then maybe Mookie Betts. Season 2, we're going to start with trading for Jorge Polanco. He's going to be our shortstop going forward. Um, we're going to trade Kristen Stewart, Jorge Bonifacio, and Richie Burks. Honestly, that might be the only move I make. Um, because when we take a look at the team now, we'll move him up in the lineup, obviously. But this is what we're kind of working with. We obviously got Mookie Betts to play right field. We got Polanco now. Danny Santana's in center field, but I'm going to call up Victor Reyes. Um... Then who do I send down? Um, we'll figure this out. Because <laughs> we kind of got a, a little bit of a, a cluster going on. Maybe send Ronnie Rodriguez down? I think that might be the move and just let him develop a little bit more. And then have Victor Reyes play center field. So Victor Reyes is going to play center field. Ronnie Rodriguez is going to get sent down. But this is the squad. It looks really, really good. Like, it is scary good. And then the pitching, not much has changed. Um, Tony Watson came in to be our lefty. I'm going to give this pitching staff one more season. I know it's not the best. Um, Casey Mize will then take over for whoever does the worst out of all these guys. And then we need to, we need to improve this. Um, like we have the, we don't really have the budget right now. Obviously we have some pretty big contracts. I would love to trade Miguel Cabrera. I just don't know if I'm going to be able to. Um, so that, that's kind of an issue. Um, that's kind of what's holding us back. So I guess we could take a quick look to see if we could trade him for anything. I don't think we will. I don't think he has that much trade value. Yeah, there's nothing. Unless we like pair him with somebody. Which I guess Isaac Paredes would be the best bet since we just traded for Jorge Polanco. If this was a long-term rebuild, I would 100% keep um, Paredes. But okay, we might have actually been able to come up with something here. What do we need? We kind of do need relief pitching. It's just going to be difficult because we're going to need to take on a big contract. And I don't know if any of these really fit what we need. Um, Not really. There, No one's really throwing us relievers. There's Amir Garrett and Jose Peraza and Eovaldi, which we already know has a gross contract. David Price, I don't want. So it's not... Yeah, we're not really getting anything good here. Um, Will Harris, Verlander, no... Scherzer, Greg Hot. Yeah, this is just not not cutting it. So let me see if I can make a trade. All right, so I was able to find one, and it was for Charlie Blackman. I didn't really want to do it. I actually kind of wanted to try to get Arenado. Didn't work. Um, so we're gonna go Charlie Blackman. He's gonna be kind of like our, our DH left fielder. Um, it is still kind of a big contract, but it's a lot less. Uh, we're also getting Scott Oberg and Jeff Hoffman. So it may not be the best of trades. Scott Oberg still has one more year on his contract. We'll see how he does for us. And then Jeff Hoffman is 100% a trade piece going forward. We might even trade him right now. All right, we're going to be trading for another lefty in the bullpen. We're going to trade Hoffman, Gregerson, and Coleman for Jose Castillo. And I think that might be it for moves because I'm feeling pretty good with the team now. So let's take a look. See how things go, are looking, I should say. And this is what we're working with. Quackenbush is definitely the, the weakest part of the bullpen. But his contract runs out at the end of the year, and we definitely can find somebody else. Starting rotation, like I said, one of these three guys will be replaced next year by Casey Mize. But for now, I'm liking I'm liking what we have. Lineup-wise, um, Charlie Blackman is going to go right there. 
and then he might even start in left field over demerit actually i know he will start over demerit and this is the team I, again i'm gonna bring up victor reyes to play center field because i think he's got a little bit more potential going forward and then uh ronnie rodriguez will go down and then i'll get the lineup all set up so that it fits with what we have rather than just it being kind of like all over the place right now so that's the team it looks a lot better um let's take a look and see where we stand 19th that's a huge improvement let's see how season two plays out all right so let's uh let's see how this goes because we're actually in a really good spot just short of 80 wins we just hit the 80 win mark and last year we came one game short of the uh, the postseason so what did we do this year we made it as a wild card team taking on our divisional opponents the white Sox. so league leaders jorge polanco and matthew boyd so okay all right we got an award as well silver slugger and gold glove all righty so let's take a look at the standings we finished three games out in the division and then the wild card we had a, a two game lead over the red Sox. so okay happy with that former solid boyd was really good um okay so he's probably gonna get traded agrizal um descalfani meh and then cotton meh as well so it looks like someone was sent down i already know who it was it was alcantara which I guess Casey Mize is definitely coming up and I, I'm going to try to sign someone else as well. I'm not too sure who just yet, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Oberg sucked. Castillo sucked. Um, Jimenez was pretty bad as well. Osuna was good. So it was kind of a mixed, you know, mixed results from our, our bullpen. Our bench was actually pretty solid. Actually really solid. And then they sent Victor Reyes down. He was hitting 271. Why would they send him down? That's so dumb. I, I hate that the CPU gets so involved in um, franchise. Like, I, I made the team how I wanted it, like, for a reason, you know? Like, why, why is it picking players who are having good years and sending them down? It doesn't make any sense to me at all. We'll take a look at the rest of the squad in a second, but... That's something they really need to fix. All right, so Polanco, 319. We know we, he had a good year, 35 home runs. Charlie Blackman, 280 with 33 home runs. 289 for Mookie Betts, awesome. 283 for Crone. Scope, a little bit on the app, like average-wise, was pretty poor, but 34 home runs, I will take that all day. Victor Reyes had himself a good season. Demerit was a gold glover. So even though the stats weren't amazing, I'm, I'm not going to freak out about it. Um, Jake Rogers was okay. You know, 12 home runs isn't terrible. And Dewell Lugo, actually not as good as I would have hoped. Huh. How did Candelario do? Maybe Candelario is our first baseman going forward. Kind of crazy to think about that. Budget's still around a million, so we're going to have some money to play with. So, let's do this quick manage really quickly. See how it goes. Um, guaranteed rate field. I feel like the White Sox always change the name of their stadium. So, I just don't remember it at all. So, let's see what we can do with this team. Austin Meadows on the team. Matt Chapman's on the team as well. Okay. What a change to this squad. Um, Let's uh keep a very quiet game, I guess. I think Mookie Betts is like our only our only hits on this on the game. Um, he is. Mookie Betts has both of our hits today. So there that says a lot about how this game's going. Like it's just a pitching duel, apparently. Like both pitchers are just lights out. Holy cow, what is going on? Ninth inning? Okay, here we go. Ch Charlie Blackman with the triple. Can we get the sack fly? We can't, unfortunately. How do you not score on the single? All right, um, just to be safe, let's bring in our closer because um, we need to. And there we go. We're winning. We won, I should say. Not we're winning, but we won. And we're taking on the Yankees. This is going to be a tough matchup for sure. Um, do they have Fulmer pitching? They have Boyd pitching. So let's do that go like that and i feel like that's probably our strongest one agrizal has been meh at best so we are gonna get swept as expected the yankees are gross so let's head into the off season and see what we can do with this team because we're in a good spot we made the playoffs and we're gonna have some money to work with so what can we do here 36 years old i don't think he's gonna hold that rating so i'm gonna let Oh wait, Desclafani has that team option, and I'm glad I made it a team option because I'm gonna let everybody walk. That gives us even more money to work with. So let's 
Whoa, really? Okay, so I'm gonna have to sign Roberto Osuna, which is a pain, but we're gonna make it work. Let's go. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to bump that up, huh? Let's hope he signs that one. I didn't expect him to decline the option, so hopefully he signed. He did. Oh, yes. All right, so we got our closer. We need some bullpen help for sure. Mize is going to come up and be probably our three. So I probably still want another good pitcher to help us out. How was Carlos Rondon? He was okay. Okay. Uh, Tanaka. Not not amazing. Heaney. Mm, Archer. Yikes. Okay. So it's looking like... Yeah, it's looking like Rondon's our best option. Unless Lance Lynn's kind of gross. Nope. Gross in a bad way. Um, pitching wise, there's a couple decent options for sure. Um, we got some closers as well. Catcher, I feel like we're good. First base, we have CJ Crone. Second base, we have Scope. Third base, we have Candelario. I mean, we could improve on that. I'm not too sure with what, because I don't want to blow our budget on everything. Polanco's there. Left field, we've got Blackman. Center field, we've got Victor Reyes, who, I mean, I guess we could upgrade on. The line of the shields really isn't an upgrade on him, though. Maybe put Tommy Pham in center. Or Mookie Betts. I mean, probably could play center field. So we could pick up a right fielder. Huh. We'll figure something out. We definitely can figure something out. But I feel like pitching is where we need to improve the most. So we'll see what we can do for season three. Alrighty, season three, we're going to trade for Derek Rodriguez for Agrizal, Carpenter, and Detheridge. That's basically the only trade I want to make for a starting pitcher. Um, because... Um, Mize is going to be kind of like our, I don't know. It, we're all pretty equal here. I do want to make the bullpen a little bit stronger because you can see we have Diaz and Jimenez. We're also still kind of in spring training. I want to get my deals done now. Um, and then I do, I do want to improve on third base because like Candelario's okay. Lugo's okay, but I feel like we can definitely get better there. Same with left field. So let's see what we can do because our budget's at 1 million. We have some some space to kind of move around and get some new players all right our new third baseman rafael devers i wasn't expecting this deal to work um yeah you guys can kind of see his stats and his home runs and stuff it's nutty um his stats are there fielding's pretty bad but you know what i'm cool with it candelario castro and then this is kind of the big piece parker meadows but i'm cool with that deal that's our new third baseman all right we're gonna trade eduardo jimenez and Bo burrows for edgar santana i know we got him recently but uh, his, he's had under 3 ERA every single season this like rebuild time frame. So I feel like that's a move that we definitely need to make. So that's kind of what our, our lineup's looking like. Quackenbush has just been gross. So I'm going to stick with him. There's no real reason to try to like change him if he's been gross throughout this entire rebuild. And this is what we're working with. Oberg... Oh man, do we do we trade him? Do we give him a shot? Like the starting rotation looks really good. We got this here. I wanted to try to get Matt Manning involved, but his stats just aren't there yet. Probably like next year he will 100% be ready. But for now, this is what we're working with. Pitching wise, is it the best? No, but I think it's gonna work. And then offensively, I like the team a lot. Um, season three, let's see what we can do. You guys can see the squad here. Um, I don't think we really have anybody of note down here. No, I mean it looks good. I really like it. I want to see where we're ranked as a team now. Fourth, we got to make the postseason more than a wild card team. We got to win the division this time. Hopefully, we can actually make it past the the first like actual round of the the playoffs. Yeah. So let's see how season three plays out. All right, September things are going too good. You're gonna see some of these ERAs in the top left corner, and oh man, they are gross. I think all of our starters have over a four ERA except for two. So three, I guess three of them have pretty pretty high ERAs. And we made it as a wild card team. Yikes. What are we ranked? 13th? We were 4th at the start of the season. We're 13th now. Uh, we missed out on the division by 8. And in the wild card, we had a two game like a lead against the next team. So gold glove for Mookie Betts. Everything else was pretty disappointing. So Derek Rodriguez was our best pitcher. Michael Fulmer was atrocious. Carlos Rodon, atrocious. Casey Mize, first season. Not going to freak out about that. Matthew Boyd. What was that? This is when the CPU needs to go, oh, okay, you got a really bad pitcher. Let's bring somebody else up. But no, they probably sent down one of our best outfielders or one of our best infielders 
instead. So Alcantara is getting the start. Like he's in our rotation going forward. And actually bullpen was pretty good besides Jimenez and Osuna. So pretty happy with that. Our bench, yikes. Um, but our bench was okay. Not terrible. A couple home runs here and there. Mookie Betts is a leadoff guy. Really solid numbers. Jorge Polanco, great numbers. Rafael Devers, great numbers. Charlie Blackman, holy cow, amazing numbers. Scope, there we go. High numbers. Uh, averages up there. OPS at 820. Gotta love it. What's Blackman's? 919 OPS. Devers, 884. Polanco, 865. And then Mookie Betts had an 878. Love to see it. CJ Crone. Numbers dipped a little bit, but you know what? I'm, I can still, you know, not too disappointed in that. Victor Reyes is consistent. Last year was a career year for him. You know, 32 doubles, high average. But you know what? He's not terrible. He's not a bad center fielder. Demerit was okay. And then probably could have definitely upgraded on him. But I feel like we still have a really solid team. And, like, we should have done so much better. So much better. Like, I... I don't get it, man. How are we so bad? Like, how did the pitching just just fall apart like that so quickly? Um, so let's see what we can do against Blake Snell and the Rays. The line of the Shields is new. Moncada is new. Renato Nunez, Austin Barnes, Dylan Cousins. So a couple new faces. Jonathan Scope gets us on the board early, which is good. Uh, we just got to keep them off the board. That's basically how baseball works. You know, you got to score more than your opponent. There we go. Okay, Jonathan Scope. Feeling it. I like it. Um, Let's see. Can we get another run here? That would be great. So far, so good. I like what we have. Five run lead. Derek Rodriguez has like no energy gone. Holy cow. He's just now hitting the halfway point. We're up six nothing. Close out the game, dude. Holy cow. Four hits. Only four strikeouts? Really? What an outing. Only four strikeouts. Interesting. So what we're going to do is we're going to put him here. We're going to have Casey Mize there. Actually, I'm going to I'm going to be do I'm going to do something crazy. I'm going to go like that. I'm going to go like that. Yeah, let's see how that goes. All right. Yankees, they knocked us out last year. We at least didn't get swept. Game 5. Are you serious? Was this to go this to take on the White Sox? Okay. I will take that for sure. All right, elimination game. Casey Mize had an outing. Let's put him on the mound. Let's see what we can do against the Yankees here. Whit Merrifield, Ender Inciarte. Oh, yeah. This is the team with like seven center fielders. They had like Inciarte, Merrifield, Hicks, and they had one more really good center fielder. I didn't understand why they had so many, but it's the Yankees. There's always one team in franchise that like hogs all the top like position, like all the top players for one position. It's weird. There's always one team that has like five first basemen that are like 80 and above or three second basemen that are like 90. It's weird. We're down 5 nothing. Casey Mize is getting absolutely rocked as I'm talking about this. And 6-0. Uh, I think that might be the season unless we get something on the board very, very quickly. And uh, okay, Matt Boyd gives us two innings. I'm not going to freak out about that. There's one run back. Can we get another? Devers. There we go. 7-3. Seven to five. Okay, we're back in it. This game's not over. I'm going to go to a righty, though, because they have a very righty heavy lineup. As I say that, it's not going to matter because they get one run on the board. Um, Let's let's get a couple more. Like, if we can get a couple runs, I'd be set. So we're down, what, three? Okay, that's a good start, though. I like that. One, At least we got one back. All right, I'll take that for sure. And then... Let's get let's get another one. Mm. Uh, let's go Santana here. It's like every time we find ourselves inching our way closer and closer, it's just it's just not good enough. So it comes down to this top nine. We're down quite a bit. <laughs> We're down six runs after that really rough inning, and a runner was thrown out of home, and that's going to be our season. Twelve to six, man. That pitching just really fell apart at the end of the year. So let's take a look at the budget real quick. See what we're working with going forward. You got some big contracts, but like McCutcheon's coming off. You definitely want to sign Devers. I think CJ Crone would be someone you try to get rid of. Um, Michael Fulmer, yes and no. Scott Oberg let go. Boyd let go. Yeah, I feel like there's definitely some money that you could 
open up to keep some of these core pieces. And then, I mean, look at this team. Betts, Polanco, Devers, Blackman, um, Scope or Crone you could let go. Victor Reyes is solid in center. You could always try to upgrade your left field and catching spot. And then pitching wise, I feel like we really underperformed the, at the pitcher spot. Like we have a really solid rotation and bullpen, you know, 82, 86, 82, 90, 92. Like that's that should be doing a lot better than what it did. And I don't understand why our starting pitching was so bad, but that's just the way franchise is sometimes. And that's why it's so random. But I hope you enjoyed the Tigers offseason rebuild. If you did, thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoyed the content. And as always in the comment section, let me know future videos you would like to see. On screen now are going to be two videos, my most recent, and also one that YouTube recommends for you guys to check out. If you missed either of them, go and give them a watch, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.